Live from Columbia, South Carolina, WIS News 10 starts now. Thanks for joining us on your news at 11 tonight. We continue our election coverage tonight. The city of Columbia elected its next at large council member with unofficial results showing that Tyler Bailey is projected to take the seat vacated by Howard Duvall. Bailey defeated small business owners Jesse Bullard and Krista Williams. Nick Neville is live on this story for us at Bailey's watch party. So Nick, what is Bailey saying tonight? Cynthia and Greg, he says that this is a victory not just for him, but for all of Columbia. He says he's going to be a centrist, independent voice on council that looks out for people in all of the communities and neighborhoods of the capital city. Now, Bailey is an attorney. He says it's his mission to serve his community, and being elected to council is just the next step in that process. He mentioned what a long road it's been, referencing his unsuccessful at-large council bid in 2021, wished all of his opponents well. He says in addition to supporting law enforcement, Columbia needs to be more innovative and creative in reaching young people through its Parks and Rec program as ways to combat youth gun violence. Bailey also says that as the city grows, certain communities cannot be left behind. I think this was a message, not necessarily saying, Tyler, you're just the greatest person ever, um, but this is what we value. We value an advocate who cares about our neighborhoods. We value an advocate who cares about people and communities, who cares about marginalized communities, who wants everybody to reap the benefit of growing, thriving Columbia, that development happens with communities rather than to communities. And Mayor Rickman also stopped by tonight to congratulate Bailey. He also received a phone call from his opponent, Jesse Bullard, wishing him well. Reporting in Columbia, Nick Neville, WIS News 10. All right, Nick, thank you so much. In other city council races, Councilman Will Brennan defeated former Councilman Mo Badura to keep his seat, and Councilman Ed McDowell ran unopposed in District 2.